Hello everyone, welcome to this lesson. In this lesson we're going to talk about the nature of roots within the section of functions. So in this question they've given us a parabola with the equation x squared minus 3x minus 4. Question A says determine the value of k so that the roots are equal. Now many times you're not going to have to use the graph to answer the question. What we can do is the following. We need to have a very good idea of nature of roots. So I have got a video series on that. But in summary, nature of roots is all about b squared minus 4ac, which sometimes we call that the discriminant with a little triangle. And that part, if it looks familiar to you, is within the quadratic formula. Okay, but we're not looking at the square root, we're just looking at b squared minus 4ac. Now, in summary, if that is negative, then straight away we call the roots non-real. If that answer is a zero or any n positive number, then we call it real. Now, within this category, there are three separate categories, and that could, these go as follows. If this is a zero, then we call the roots real and equal. If we get a perfect square, such as 25, 36, 49, or any other perfect square, then we'll call it real, unequal, but also rational. Then if you get any other kind of number, such as 17, 43, 51, any other number that's not a zero or a perfect square, then we call it real. So remember, everything in this category on the right is real. It's also going to be unequal but we're going to call them irrational. Okay, so that's very important that you know that. So if you need to quickly write all that down or make some notes, go ahead, pause the video, but I'm going to carry on. So once you know that, it becomes very easy. They said here that the roots must be equal. Well, remember when we drew this thing out, the equal one was this one over here. And the roots, the, the b squared minus 4ac must simply be equal to 0. So what we can say is that b squared minus 4ac must be equal to 0. We then need to arrange this equation, because remember, when you want to use b squared minus 4ac, you have to have a 0 on one of the sides. So we're going to take x squared minus 3x minus 4, and we're going to bring the k over. There we go. So now a will be 1, b will be minus 3, and then everything else becomes C. So we can fill in B as minus 3 squared minus 4, A is 1, and then C is minus 4 minus K. And we make that equal to 0. Then we just solve. So we can multiply that in in the next steps. That's going to become 9 plus 16 plus 4K equals to 0. That's going to give us 4K equals to negative 25. And so K must be equal to negative 25 over 4. And notice we didn't look at the graph at all. All right, so now moving on to question B. Determine the value of k so that the roots are, are real. Well, if you remember when we drew this out, it went like that. And then this branch going down here was real, okay? And we said that to go down this branch over here, your b squared minus 4ac must be 0 or anything positive. So what we will do is we'll say that b squared minus 4ac can be 0 or anything positive, and that will show like that. This says that it must be bigger than 0, which means positive, but it can also be equal to 0. And so then the approach will be the exact same. So we'll bring the k over, make it equal to 0. So a is 1, b is minus 3, and then c is this over here. And so we can say b squared, which is 9 again, or well, minus 3 squared is 9. A is 1, and then C is minus 4 minus K. If we go ahead and multiply all of this out and simplify it, we will get 9 plus 16 plus 4K. Oh, I shouldn't be saying equal to 0 there. Sorry about that. So we're going to make it bigger than 0, because that's what we want this time. And so we do that. And so what we're going to end up with is 4K must be bigger than minus 25. And so therefore, K must be bigger than or equal to negative 25 over 4.